Okay, well, this one has been an absolute pain for the last month or so, and it's been off the road. Which is meant to have been running around in this one, which there is a big difference. You know, this is a um, basic car anyway, but it's also running the ST wheels with low profile tyres, cheap lowering springs, and standard shocks. So it's uh, it's not very refined, let's say. So I'm glad to be back in the comfortable daily. But also, that's been taking up all my spare time. So um, I haven't had a lot, well, I haven't had anything to do with this. So, yeah, looking at it now, I'm getting a little bit overwhelmed. But, um, yeah, I think that's just from not being out here for so long. So I'm going to get myself back into the swing of things today. And I'm uh, just going to start off small. Probably work on this rail along here. So I'll straighten it up and see what I've got to work with. See what needs cutting out and replacing. And I might see to these as well. So I was thinking of just chopping squares out, welding new square tabs back in, rather than replace a whole rail or cut little circles to weld in it. Seems the easiest option. But yeah, first step, straighten this up and see what we got. So even though I blew countless holes in the metal, I've snapped three sanding belts, I think. And I may have finished off my grinder. I don't know, I'll have to check that one. It's done, yeah. So, yeah, don't look too close. Yeah, I think it was a good, let's call it like a reintroduction to welding. Because it's been so long. Even though it's only been four weeks, it feels like forever. So, uh, yeah, I was glad just to get out here and get on it again. So I was thinking about moving on to this, but not today. I'm going to do something a bit more simple and see if I can take in some of these. So luckily, before I started cutting, um, I remembered something I wanted to try. So um, what I did was just use a bit of copper, go behind the holes and just pedal weld it. So um, yeah, turned out fine. And you know, of course, it's going to be covered with the wings, so don't care. So yeah, just dress that up a bit. Straighten up a bit more because it's a little bit... It's wavy from me taking the wing off rather than any sort of heat distortion or anything. Uh, yeah, that's looking fine. Happy with that. Okay, so I'm back up in the garage again, and today I think I'm going to concentrate on this general area. So, probably start down here. Um, this bit needs getting out from there to there. Just straightforward. Same beer. Might have to go over a little bit there. But get it from there to there, just replace it. Not sure what's happened there. I don't know whether the metal broke or pulling the panel off. But I'll straighten that up and probably just put a little bit of weld in. Um, pedal welds in these holes. And uh, if I got time, I might look at this area. It's just little holes everywhere. There's one there, one there, one there, there, there. And those are spot welds that ripped out. And then there's like a little, I'm not sure what happened there. That's a sliced it with the anchor grinder. Yeah, I think I'll just concentrate on this area and see how, just see how far I get. Okay, so I'm running out of battery and it's almost lunchtime, so it's probably a good place to leave it. But what I'm up to, I've replaced this piece and this piece. Um, what have I done? I did a vertical hole going down there and a couple of small ones up here and I also found a new one there and there so I plugged those up but um problem I'm facing around here is I can blow in through I, mean, I don't know whether I've got too much heat going through the welder or what but this metal does feel very thin especially around some of these type holes it's just worn through rather than like you know big rusty patches so um yeah she is 42 now so not going to complain too much but um yeah it's going okay so um i'm going to get some primer on here now and next time i'm going to have to like <laughs> i really don't want to do these <laughs> i'm going to have to try and get in behind the with some um, copper or something i don't know 
Yes. With the angle, it's going to be tricky to cut anything out. That one's easy enough. And then we've got this, which is easy enough. Um, these holes on this door trim, um, pillar rather, you can't, you know, this is, you can't get behind these. So um, all these can have to be cut out, I think, and replaced. And then the last bit in this area is down there, which I'm not going to look at now. Okay.